seven and a half plus million illegal aliens flooding into the United States of America under the administration of Joe Biden. To speak on this matter, we are proud to welcome back our United States Senator from the great state of Tennessee, Marsha Blackburn, joining the Matt Murphy Show this afternoon. Marsha, always a pleasure. Good afternoon. Absolutely. Good to be with you. Thank you so much. And Matt, you know, when you put the gotaways in to that number of illegal immigrants that have come to that border, you are north of nine million encounters because we know we've got about 1.7 million gotaways, known gotaways that are in that number. And then who knows how many are in the unknown gotaways that they find things the next day when they're out on patrol and they see where they've come and gone, but uh, they didn't get them. So it is, this is more than the population of 38 of our states. Think about that. You know, our friends, and I put that kind of in air quotes, Senator, on the political left, are trying to use this ridiculous non-plan that never went anywhere in the Senate anyway as a reason why they want to put the onus back on Republicans with regard to illegal immigration. Explain to people why that 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 plan uh, that was created by Schumer and you know, I guess a couple of Republicans were on board for a hot minute. Explain to people why this plan was a non-starter from you, for you from the yeah, beginning. Yeah, ab- absolutely. It was not a border security bill. It was an immigration bill. It was something that would deal with the impact or the effects of migration once illegal aliens are inside the country. Mm -hmm. But it did nothing to deal with keeping them from getting into the country. There was nothing on border security in the bill. There were no new uh, miles of wall. There were no new closures in existing wall. It did not include legislation like My Container Act, which allows local and state entities to erect temporary barriers to block people from coming into their area. This is what they've done in Eagle Pass, Texas. So what we said, and the reason it was so widely rejected by Republicans was, look, we want a border security bill. And here's the deal, Matt. H.R. 2, the House border security bill, which would have put in statute much of what President Trump did when he secured our border in 2017, 18, 19, and 20. That arrived in the U.S. Senate to the Senate Judiciary Committee on May 15th of last year. We have tried to bring that bill up. We have uh, tried to push that bill forward. The Senate Judiciary Committee has held over 80 hearings and meetings since that bill landed at the Judiciary Committee. And not once, even with us talking about this at all these hearings and meetings, not once did Dick Durbin bring that bill forward. If you don't like the bill, you call it up and you amend it, and then you send it back to the House. But you don't do nothing, and they chose to do Nothing, because an open border is Joe Biden's border policy. He took 94 executive orders and actions in the first 100 days that he was in office, 94 that weakened our immigration law and opened the border for illegal entry. It was all aimed at making illegal immigration legal. And people are saying, hey, we need to protect our families. We need to protect our communities. What are we doing uh, by not protecting our children? The drug dealers are running wild fentanyl usage and is spreading across our state. Uh, There are gangs in communities that have never seen a gang. There's an uptick in human trafficking in sex trafficking, you've got labor gangs and crews that are that have children that are working, and these gangs are in communities trying to recruit kids 
to come be a part of the gang while they're carrying out smash and grabs and carjackings and home burglaries. Well, you're speaking my language, Senator, and Senator Marsha Blackburn with us on the Matt Murphy Show on Super Talk because I've been arguing for a long time that the Democrats are intentionally conflating one issue, border security, and another issue, immigration policy, on purpose uh, to try to confuse the American people. And I believe you have to address, and I think you believe this too, Marsha, you have to address border security before we can talk about immigration policy. Oh, and, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, you're right about that. People are demanding that. I did another telephone town hall. Of course, I visit every county every year, and every county is on the telephone town hall every year. And we had eight counties on the telephone town hall, and Matt, nearly all the questions were about the border and border security and why do we continue to allow these people to come in and then they're not prosecuted uh why we are not uh sending them back to the country they came from instead of flying them to the city of their choice at u.s taxpayer expense i mean the questions went on and on people are very concerned about their safety, their security, the impact this has on their communities, the impact of drugs on young people. The number one killer of Americans age 18 to 45 is fentanyl. And fentanyl is coming across that border distributed by the cartels after being manufactured by the Chinese Communist Party. We have the murder, obviously, of Lake and Riley, which has drawn much needed attention to this issue. Uh, but not just that. Um, I, I think it's one uh, in uh, thousands of cases that we've seen across the country as Joe Biden has been president. We've got uh, just recently the murdering of a two-year-old child at the hands of an illegal alien in Maryland, sexual assault against a minor in Virginia, uh, the rape of a 14-year-old uh, girl and the stabbing of a man in Louisiana. I mean, all of these things are happening in the hands of illegal aliens. And Donald Trump predicted this. I mean, President Trump, who I know you've endorsed, Marsha, said during his political campaign in 2016 that as this flood happens, sure, there are some people that are coming for a better life, and we don't begrudge them that if they do it in a legal way. But there are a lot of bad people there. I mean, he said, and he, uh, you remember this, he was lambasted for it when he said there are murderers, there are rapists coming across the border. We are now seeing that in real time. What, if anything, do you believe the left is willing to do about it? Uh, what can any of us do about it in the state of Tennessee until such time as we see President Trump uh, retake the White House? And immigration uh, law and border security are at the top of his to-do list. And as you said, those are separate issues. And getting that border secure is something that he says is a day one to-do item for him. And he will do it. He is on the border today. He is visiting with Border Patrol. He is down at, El at Eagle Pass. He is there where they've had a very acute situation. Uh, I think he will take pieces of legislation like my Container Act, which allows state and local governments to build temporary barriers to protect theirs. That's the kind of thing he's going to do. He probably also will take my uh, CLEAR Act, which is the legislation I had in the House, and we are refiling in the Senate. It calls for any illegal alien that is apprehended for any crime in this country. They are immediately deported and they are barred. And uh, those are the kind of things you can expect him to do. Re-implement, remain in Mexico, and by all means, he will rebuild that wall and go back to building the wall that the Border Patrol asked for. And, you know, I think it's important to realize people say, well, Trump had a slogan, build a wall. No, Donald Trump listened to the Border Patrol and he said, tell me what you need. They said three things. 
We need a physical barrier. We need better technology where we cannot have a barrier. And we need more officers and agents on the ground. That's where Build the Wall came from. It is what the Border Patrol has been saying that they need, a substantial physical barrier that will stop people from illegally entering the country. Senator Marsha Blackburn for one or two more minutes. Senator Blackburn, two more quick questions. One, reflective of several of the comments that I'm getting from our Members Nutrition Super Text line. Why can't we do more about this? Why can't Marsha and the Republicans do more about this? I'm gonna, I want to give you a, an opportunity to answer that question because there's a lot of growing frustration, but there's only so much you can do in the minority, right? Well, and if, um, if Joe Biden would abide by the rule of law, he has all the authority he needs to secure this border. His first 100 days, he took 94 executive actions and orders to weaken immigration policy and to further open the border. So he did away with what Donald Trump had done. So we can pass all the laws there are, and this administration is not going to implement them because they do not believe in a sovereign, secure border. An open border is their policy. Finally, Senator Mitch McConnell making the announcement that he's stepping down out of leadership in November. Um, Any early thoughts on who you would like to see in that role? You know, Matt, we are focused on picking up the Senate, controlling the Senate so that a Republican leader is the majority leader. We're focused on President Trump being elected and being back in the White House. I'm, of course, focused on my uh, election this year. But the thing is, after we have taken the majority, after we have President Trump, then we will turn our attention to deciding who is going to be the Republican leader. Senator Blackburn, always a pleasure to speak with you. Come see us when you're in town, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Take care.